Minding the Gap. Equality for children of non-EU migrants accessing third-level education in Ireland. Who's minding the gap? We are the 1.5s, not a percentage, but a policy term. We're the children of the first generation of migrants who've made Ireland home. All born outside the EU, we came here to join our parents. We've grown up here and put down roots. Ireland is our home. We've all gone through secondary school, some of us even to national school. We just want the right to progress to third level and to contribute to Ireland's future. Did you know, if you're coming to Ireland from outside the EU to live and work, you need permission in the form of a stamp in your passport? You don't exist in the immigration system until you register at 16 and get your first stamp. Time spent in Ireland before this didn't count towards citizenship. We have no control over the stamps we get. We are stuck in a system set up for working adults, not us, their children. It is far from perfect. Pathways to citizenship remain unclear. When it comes to third level, the gap gets bigger. If you haven't got citizenship by the time you start college, you don't qualify for free fees or higher education grants. Through no fault of our own, we are never going to satisfy the nationality criteria. No matter how long we have lived in Ireland, we will face EU fees. 15 years. A short-term solution that has just become policy by institutions. EU fees are huge. Our parents have to pay double or treble the fees other students pay. And if you get citizenship in the duration of your course, you can't reverse your fee status or enjoy the privilege of being a citizen. How does this affect us? I'm here 12 years. My parents' entire disposable income goes on my EU fees. I'm a drain on their resources. I'm here seven years. I'm really worried about the fees my mom has to pay. It causes a lot of anxiety and stress. I'm here 12 years and I made it into second year by the skin of my teeth. And I'm the reason my sister can't afford to start college. I can't go to college, can't afford it. So I see no bright future, there is nothing. Irish, but not Irish enough. Lost opportunity. Lost generation, excluded. Why should you care? First of all, it's the right thing to do. We are not looking for special treatment, just equal treatment. We have been overlooked. And there's not that many of us. Remember, we are the 1.5 generation. We're not going anywhere. We are here to stay, and we have a contribution to make. By investing in us, you're investing in Ireland's future. You see, it's like setting up a small business. Invest at the beginning and reap the profits. Cha-ching! What will cost the Department of Education a little in the short term will save a fortune in the long term. We can't afford not to do something. We believe a solution exists within our immigration and education system. Waive EU fees for children of migrants living here over five years. Let's look at the free fees scheme. If you're eligible for citizenship, you should be eligible for free fees too. Same goes for higher education grants. New citizens should be able to reverse their fee status. Educate teachers in school about this issue. Fast track the citizenship application for young people like us stuck in the adult system. A clear pathway to citizenship is needed in our new immigration laws. This should have all been done yesterday, but it's not too late to mind the gap. Mind the gap!